guys, it's Loren Cunningham Hammond here, also known as Trainer Loren or the trainer with too many names. Yes, that's me. So today we're going to go ahead and start. Um, some of you may have seen the um, first part of this presentation, um, but there are some changes that I will be pointing out. So um, if you guys would just sit tight, we're just going to go ahead and get started now, okay? First and foremost, I have to say thank you for spending some of your uh, precious time with me. I appreciate it. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get going here. Okay, so National General Accident and Health. I am happy to um, advise that we are going to go over the access, uh, the NatGen new access product now. Since some of you, it may not be new, some of you have seen it before, we have had a presentation on it before. Um, and with that being said, there are some updates and changes. So it kind of feels like it's been been here, done that, but just hang out and, and check it out. So why the fixed benefit indemnity plans? So we're gonna go over that as well as the uh, plans designs, as well as how they work. And then of course the, uh, state availability and eligibility. Now, our resources as well. So why the fixed benefit indemnity plans? Well, unfortunately, 64% of Americans avoid or delay treatments due to medical costs. And unfortunately, a lot of people, you know, tend to hold off on getting medical, um, seeking out medical doctors or treatments only because they're scared of how much money they're, they're going to have to pay. So the more money uh, to help them pay for that care and out-of-pocket costs is the whole reason for this access. Again, 44% of Americans don't go to the doctor when they're sick or injured because of the cost they don't know and they also fear as to what those true costs for that visit is. Now, 41% of Americans have problems with medical bills or debt due to the cost of the rising costs within healthcare. So the access, the NAPGEN access is an affordable way for your clients to be able to get healthcare costs that they need. We're going to be helping them cover an anticipated cost for of everyday healthcare services. We're gonna be paying a set dollar amount for certain covered healthcare services. And then the customer is gonna pay anything in excess to that plan benefit. Now, some of the questions that have been coming up with this, well, would you just do this by itself? I would sell this product in addition to that short-term medical plan or that fixed. So this particular plan is offered, um, is offering predictable and affordable access for healthcare. Clients can go to any doctor or hospital that they want and receive their set benefit amount. Now, we're gonna get into more information on those benefits. Uh, your client's going to save more when they use that first health network provider. Okay, they can go out of network, but we all understand the difference between a preferred provider as opposed to out of network. Benefits for preventative, preventative office visits, unplanned office visits, lab and x-ray, surgeon costs, and more. Now, one of the really cool things is this benefit is paid on top of other coverages, like that short-term medical. And then the there's no coordination of benefits. Now, something I want to point out here, on the office visits and lab works, you'll know that there are four different plans that we're offering. We have the value, the fundamentals, the enhanced, and the guaranteed, guaranteed issue that is. 
So you'll note that the first year, your insured would receive $75 for an office visit, two per year under the fundamental, four per year. On the enhanced plan, it's $100 payment up to four a year. Now on the guaranteed issue, it's $75 and again, two visits. Now please note the longer they have this plan, the richer the benefits. So like on that year two, they're getting three visits under the value plan. The fundamental plan, they're getting five visits. Enhanced, again, five visits. And then you'll note that it's not much of a change or no change at all when it comes to that guaranteed issue. Now you'll note year three, again, four visits under the value. Fundamental is six per year. And then again, enhanced six per year. And I do have to point out only two per year under the guaranteed issue. So preventative office visits. So you'll note that uh, available with the enhanced level only with a 90 day waiting period. That is most important guys. Urgent care visits under the value, it's $100 a visit, two per year. Fundamental again, $100, but three. And then the enhanced is four. And unfortunately it's not gonna be covered under the guaranteed issue. Outpatient prescriptions, you'll note that under the value, it's not an offered service. But under the fundamental, it is a $15 bill at 50 fills per year, and then a $25 bill at 50 per year. Now, there are some paperwork that needs to be filled out for that. So we'll get into that further. And then radiology, $200 payment per test, two per year under the value. Fundamental is $250 per test, and that's twice a year. And then in the enhanced, it's $300 to per visit. And you'll note that it is a covered benefit under the guaranteed issue at $200 uh, per test, one per year. Laboratory, again, same thing, covered services across the board, but please note the amounts of two tests per year, three per year under the value, two tests per year, four per year, or excuse me, two tests per day, four per year under the fundamental and enhanced, it's $75 two tests per day, five per year. And then under the guaranteed issue, it is a $75 per test, and then it's one per year. The big difference is, as you note, guaranteed issue has some benefits, but some is better than none. So let's talk about those office visits and lab work. Now, we've had a lot of questions about them. Please note, that again, as we're getting richer, sorry, my computer just froze. I apologize. Now, if you'll note on the bottom of the screen, outpatient prescription drug benefits are reimbursed after the client pays for their prescription. But again, I have to point out that this is not an offered benefit under the value or the guaranteed issue. So let's talk about that uh, transitional care and emergency services. So you'll notice that under the value or the fundamental, these are not a covered benefit, but in the enhanced, it is. Now it's a hundred dollar payment per day for 50 days under this skilled nursing facility. But again, note that guaranteed issue, it's not an available uh, benefit. Under the home health care, the only one is the enhanced that has the $100 a day up to 50 days. And then again, under the hospice, $100 a day for 50 days in the enhanced again. 
Now let's talk about emergency services. So there's been a lot of questions coming through on emergency services in the uh, training box or where you guys submit your questions. So please take note. Ground ambulance under the value plan is a payment of $500 per trip, one trip per year, $750 per trip for one trip a year. And then again, a thousand on the enhanced and 500 on the guaranteed. Now, please note the national average for a ambulance is about $600, again, on average. So let's talk about that air ambulance. That's a thousand dollar payment that your insured would receive God forbid, if they had to utilize it for a trip, and that's once a year, 1500 for a trip, again, once a year under the fundamentals, and then in the enhanced, it's 2000 Now, please note that is a covered benefit under the guaranteed issue, and it's $1,000 a trip once per year. And then the emergency room, you'll note that it's $100 uh, payment to your insured, once a year under the value, $250 payment once per year under the fundamental. And in the enhanced spectrum, we're looking at $250 visit. So that's what your insured is going to receive. Thank you for the question, by the way. Now, it is $250 payment to your insured up to three times a year. And please note, it is not a covered benefit under the guaranteed issue. So let's talk about that hospitalization. Now there's certain things I'm really gonna put emphasis on here and point out because it has been coming up quite a bit. So under the hospital admissions, okay, admissions, so that is when a person has been admitted, not necessarily for observation. If it's observation, typically speaking, it is not being admitted. So the individual does have to be admitted. So under the value plan, they can receive $500 payment three times per year, 750 five times per year, and $1,000 under the enhanced 10 times per year. Now, sorry, if you have to be hospitalized 10 times per year, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of worried for you. Under that guaranteed issue, it is a $500 payment once a year. Now, on the first year for the confinement, it's $1,000 a day. Do you see any limits? No. So please know if it just says slash day, there are no limits unless it's specified. And on these, there are no limits. Under the fundamental, your insured would receive $200 a day, excuse me, $2,000 a day payment while they are uh, confined into the hospital. Under the enhanced plan, $3,000 a day. Now, second year, under the value plan, it's two, it's $1,250, which is a 25% increase from year one. And again, that kind of goes across the board, 25% increase from year one. So two, $2,500 a day under the fundamental, $3,750 a day. Now again, you, you see a day, there is, there is no limit. But then if you look over at our friend under the guaranteed issue, it's $1,000 a day, 90 days per year. Now again, per year. Three years, you'll notice that it's $1,500, which again is a 25% increase from the first year. 3,000 for the fundamental a day and 4,500 a day. And under that guaranteed issue, again, and I'm just pointing it out, guys, 
1500 a day for 90 days maximum per year. So under the confinement, you'll see that it's 2000 under the value, 4000 under the fundamental and 6000 under the enhanced. And again, I'm pointing out and I sound I know I sound like a broken record, but these are where a lot of the questions have come in is $2,000 a day for 90 days per year. And then you'll know it goes from 2,500 and up to 7,500 a day. Again, in the enhanced guaranteed issue is 2,500, 90 days per year. Under the year three, we have $3,000 a day. $6,000 a day under the fundamental and $9,000 a day for the, uh, excuse me, the enhanced plan. But again, I'm pointing out $3,000 a day, 90 days per year under the guaranteed issue. So please note under the ICU, if a person is admitted into the ICU under the fundamental plan, excuse me, under the value plan, we're at $2,000 a day with a maximum of 60 days per year. Fundamental is $3,000 a day at 60 days per year. Enhanced is $4,000 a day at 60 days per year. And under the guaranteed issue, we have $2,000 a day, 60 days per year. And then ICU injury, $4,000 a day, 60 days per year under the value. Fundamental, $5,000 a day, up to 60 days per year. And then again, the $6,000 a day, 60 days per year under the enhanced, $4,000 a day, 60 days per year under the guaranteed issue. Healthcare practitioner. Now this is one that has come up quite a bit. So on the visit, you'll note that it is under the value is $50 is what your insured would receive per visit, maximum of two visits per year, $75 a visit, four per year under the fundamental, and again, in the enhanced, and I'm pointing out 10 visits per year at $75 per visit, and then $50 per visit per year with one visit under the guaranteed issue. Surgery. So surgeons, tier one surgery, it's a $5,000 payment. $6,000 payment under the fundamental, $7,000 payment under the enhanced, and $5,000 payment, again, under the guaranteed issue for a surgery. Assistant surgeon under the valued has no, it's not, a, it's not a benefit on this particular plan. Now, we will go into per person further along. So thank you for your question. I, I appreciate that. Um, so you guys will get to see the, the, the fun part here for me. Um, I'm kind of taking my time with this because there have been a lot of questions out there. So I apologize if I'm going too slow for you guys. But again, under that uh, surgery, you're going to notice that under the fundamental, it's $3,000 surgery per person or excuse me, for three persons in the year. I'm sorry, guys, my phone just went off. I have someone at my front door, I apologize. Um, under the enhanced, we have a $3,000, $500 payment per person, well, per surgery, and that's four times a year. The anesthesia is a $500 payment under the value uh, plan with two per year, and then we have a $1,000 surgery is the payment for three times per year 
Enhanced is 1,500 per surgery, and again, four times per year. And you'll note that under the guaranteed issue, this is not a covered benefit. Outpatient surgical facility, not a covered benefit under the value plan. And then fundamental plan is a $500 payment for the surgery, three per year. $750 surgery per person. Or excuse me, $750 surgery for four people per year. Now, please note, if you, what's new to the slide? Well, the assistant surgery inpatient tier two and outpatient. This is a covered, not a covered benefit under the value plan. Fundamental, it's a $1,000 payment for the surgery, three per year, $1,500 for the surgery, four persons per year, and not a covered benefit under the guaranteed issue. And then you'll note what else is new on this slide? It's the anesthesia inpatient tier two and outpatient. It is a $250 surgery, uh, two per year. Under the fundamental, this is a $500 surgery, three per year. Under the enhanced, it is a $750 surgery, four per year. So I did have someone ask to just hold that for a second. So I'm sorry, guys. All right, guys, let's continue on. Now, if there aren't anything in here that you guys want me to hold so you can take note, please, please let me know. I'm more than happy to do so. So, network. So this is under the first health network, over 5,100 hospitals available, uh, 110,000 ancillary facilities, and then 690,000 professional providers. Now, they will receive discounts ranging from 30 to 50% in network care. Remember, we're, we're trying to encourage that in network. Now, please note, and this kind of caught me off guard when I first saw this, 96% of the US population has access to first, first health providers within 20 miles. That surprised me. I didn't know that that was the case. And I live in just outside of Hillsboro. I live in a small town called Dundee. And sure enough, I looked. It is definitely the case. So now how this plan works. So just like other insurance plans, we want to, again, encourage the network website to search for that network provider. So please note www.firsthealthbp.com, set an appointment with the provider, present their ID cards when checking in. Now, one of the questions that has been coming up, the ID card, yes, they will get a separate ID card, the other thing that they can do is, and this is how I would pursue it, is present that short-term medical or that fixed medical card. I would hold this NatGen access card off to the side, and then I would turn around and once they were, you receive, once you file the EOB and once they file the EOB, they can uh, receive the uh, check separately. So again, the EOB will show the network discount and the plan benefit paid. 
the insured is responsible for paying any remaining balance after the plan benefit is paid. A plan benefit your client receives is the same regardless of where they receive care or how much the provider changes, or excuse me, charges. I'm sorry, guys. How the plan works? So this is in, in regards to that prescription drug. Remember we were talking about that $15 payment for up to 50 um, claims that were filed? So your client has paid for their prescription. They're going to go on to the uh, natgenhealth.com forward slash claims, and they're going to file the claim for their um, prescription. Now, please note, we don't want your insured to use um, any of the like paper receipts that they get from the pharmacy. It's actually that white piece of paper that gives all the drug information as well as you know the client's information. So they're gonna submit that form with the photocopy of the prescription receipt, again, that white paper. Because on that white paper, it's going to have the prescription number, the quantity, the cost of the prescription. So that generic cash receipt, you know, that really long one that, you know, you could wear as a scarf, they don't want that. Prescription reimbursement is available with the fundamental and enhanced level plans only. So how the plan works. So this is just one of our examples. Stacy was walking her dog and fell down and dislocated her shoulder. She has a NatGen Access fundamental plan. So she went to the ER and with her ER visit, it was $925. Shoulder x-ray was an additional $110. Total charges was $1,035. Now, Please note, she was in the network, so she got a discount of $390. The ER visit, the x-ray benefits, $250, and again, $250, because those are two benefits that she utilized. So her it keeps adding up. So her total out-of-pocket was only $145. So 86% of the treatment was discounted or paid for. This is a beautiful thing for your insured. So these are just some of the sample rates. So please do not um, like read me to filth. I have seen some of the, the other samples. I would highly recommend that you go on the NatGen website and kind of play with it a little bit. But you'll notice that we have the individual, couple, one parent family, two parent family. Now, please let me clarify. One parent family is a single parent plus child or children. And then obviously two parent family. So you'll notice the uh, rates off to the left are just some sample, again, sample rates, guys, because this also depends on the state and the age that the person is in. So like, for example, that enhanced plan for an individual is $267.37. Or that one parent family under the fundamental is $312.20. And then if we look over to the right, the samples for a the primary insured, again, primary. The primary insured being age 50 to 54. So let's look under that couple. That's a husband and wife. Uh, depending on what state it might be, two, 
same sex, doesn't matter. It depends on your state. But again, a fundamental $614.60. These are age bounded. So add our supplement plans for even more coverage. So some people have asked, can this be a just a standalone? Or what would you do with it? I would sell it in addition to that short term plan as well as any of those fixed plans. So you know that NatGen has many, many, many other options to choose from. That plan enhancer, the AME with the optional CHS and SIP writers, the Triomed, the uh, accident medical, the critical illness, the accidental death and dismemberment, cancer, heart, stroke, term life, critical illness, um, the Acumed, AME and AD&D, &D, and then dental PPO, and then dental indemnity plans. These are all gonna make great add-ons. Now, one of the questions I've had just recently, this is an under 65 product. We do have some products coming out um, here in the next couple of months that are going to be over 65. So we're kind of excited about that. But this particular plan is for the under 65 world. This is the association, Telemed for Life. So you, again, encourage your insureds to stick within the network, but uh, connect with the physician via phone or video this is one of the great benefits of this particular plan of the life association so for like the COVID-19 times that we're going through I personally have had to access this because my doctor didn't want my husband coming in to the office um, for some issues that my husband was having if you're insured has to go please by all means but this is one of those great benefits. And then access to pharmacy saving cards. Um, you can use this in addition to the NatGen access for those enhanced plans that have the um, prescription drug coverage. So that's also another beautiful means. And then of course the hospital negotiation service and discounts on direct lab services other discounts and services, you know, that identity theft protection, auto discounts, fitness centers, uh, travel membership advantages, entertainment discounts. Now, exciting because we've added four new states um, and I have just been informed today that there are potentially five more states coming in May, there's more states coming in June, so Texas is a new state, Florida is a new state, um, South Carolina, and I believe North Carolina are all new states. So please, I'm just gonna let that hold for a second so you guys can see. And if you need to add anything to your notes. All right, guys, let's move on. Eligible ages. So the primary applicant has to be between the ages of 18 and 64. Now this is at the time of application. Dependent children can be on the policy up to age 26, but please note no child only policies. There will be a a required health questionnaire, and then renewable the month the client turns 65. So who's this plan good for? A fixed benefit indemnity plan is good for a client who can't afford uh, major medical plans. 
want help covering costs and other plans that it doesn't cover, and they just need help paying for that healthcare expenses. These plans are not suitable for clients who utilize a lot of medical services or need an Affordable Care Act coverage. They want comprehensive medical coverage, have a serious illness or chronic condition, <clears throat> or persons that are eligible for an ACA plan subsidy. So remember guys, this is in addition to, this is on top of. These are some of the examples of the exclusions. Now, the pre-existing condition exclusion is for the first 12 months. Dental, de the dental procedures, elective or cosmetic surgeries, um, weight loss surgeries, chronic pain, pregnancy and maternity, again, are an example of the exclusion. Workers' comp, hazardous activities, Mental uh, disabilities and chemical abuse are, again, now if you want a more comprehensive list of what is the exclusion, please refer to the brochure. So just a brief recap, a set dollar amount to help with the healthcare costs, four benefit options to choose from, including that guaranteed issue, easy to use, easy to understand, no lifetime limits. So $100,000 lifetime limit does apply to that guaranteed issue. Your insured can pick any doctor or any hospital, but again, we want to encourage them to use that first health network to get those additional savings. And there is no waiting period on sickness and injury benefits. Again, that's kind of one that has come up quite a bit. And I'm sorry if I'm harping too much on it, but I just kind of wanted to point out where the trends and what we're seeing. So you guys have seen this one before. This is uh, just the you as the agent need to read and make sure that you're under, your insured understands that this particular NatGen access plan does not replace an Affordable Care Act plan. So please, I urge you to uh, read this to your insured. Because again, this is not meeting the essential minimum requirements for an Affordable Care Act plan. This is an additional plan. So that hospital expense protection. Now, I had the uh, another webinar earlier today and they were like, what, you can sell in an addition to that NatGen access? Yes, you can. So let's go over this hospital expense. For a lot of you, you have already seen this. So for those of you that haven't, we're just gonna go ahead and go over it. So we're gonna go over uh, the plan design as well as how it works, state availability, eligibility, and then the post sales. So the hospital expense, expense plan protection overview. This is a first dollar benefit that will help with hospital stays due to sickness or accident. Now, please note there is a 30 day waiting period. That is most important for you to understand. No deductibles or co-pays, no network restrictions. And this is in, uh, includes the Life Association membership, ex except for Wisconsin. And then uh, with that access, you also have unlimited access to the telemed services and that well card discount program. 
So let's talk about the five levels of benefits here. So you'll see it goes from level one up through level five. So under the hospital benefit, confinement benefits 31 days per policy year. So it requires a stay of more than 24 hours. So if an individual has not been admitted, this is not going to help. They have to be admitted. So under the level one, you'll see $150. Level two and three are also, four and five are $150. Hospital admissions. So one admission per policy per year is $1,500 on the level one. Level two is $3,000. It's not an available benefit under the level three. Under the level four, it's 1500 and level five is 3000. Doctor office visits, you'll note that it is not available under the level one or two, but under level three, four and five, it is a $75 payment. And again, two days uh, per policy. Now what they're saying by two days per policy is actually two visits. So I apologize for that typo guys. So under the x-ray benefits, two per policy a year, not a covered benefit under level one and two, level three, uh, four and five is a $50 payment. Laboratory benefits, two per policy year. Again, this is a $50 payment under level three and four. Now, again, Benefits are payable after that 30 day waiting period. Bundle with your plans for even more coverage. So you guys all know about the short term medical plans that we offer, the foundation health plans, it's that fixed benefit indemnity. Those supplemental, like we just talked about that accident uh, NatGen Access Plan, as well as the Plan Enhancers, uh, Triomed, Term Life, Critical Illness, and then again, that Dental PPO and the Dental Indemnity Plans are also available to provide for your insured. So let's just talk about how this plan works really briefly. So Lindsay has a short-term medical with a $2,500 deductible and a level four hospital expense protection plan. So total cost of visit and procedures was $573.01. Short-term medical plan network discount applied at $249.74. So under that uh, hospital expense protection, she had the office visit benefit of $75, the x-ray benefit of $50, and the lab benefit of $50. So she only had to pay $148.27. So that $424.74 savings was when you bundled with that short-term medical. So let's talk about Brandon here has a primary medical plan with a $5,000 out-of-pocket limit and has a level two hospital expense protection plan. So under the primary plan, the out-of-pocket maximum was $5,000. Under the health expense protection, paid for the hospital admission of $3,000, and then paid for three days in the hospital, which was another $450. So the total cost that Brandon had was $1,550. That's $3,450 to help pay other costs for other coverage. 
So he could utilize and save some money. So again, the life association, which a lot of you are familiar with, I kind of touched on it earlier, but again, I'm putting emphasis on that telemed for life. So that telemed, they can connect with the physician again via phone or video, and it's an unlimited service. We know about the discounts with the pharmacy. It's a pre-negotiated uh, savings on prescriptions, vitamins, hospital negotiated services. And then of course the uh, benefits of the discounts on the direct lab services. Now direct lab, what does that mean? Well, you know, lab work, blood work that is being drawn. There is discounts that also apply. Um, you can also receive discounts on fitness, um, that identity theft program, auto discounts, you need tires for your car, yep, you can get a discount. Entertainment, so those travel services, many, many retail stores, dining as well as entertainment. Hospital expense protection, these are currently the states which we have the plan available in. So please note, eligibility and ages. So again, the primary applicant, ages 18 through ages 64 at the time of the application, children up to age 26. And unfortunately, we do not have a child only policy. And this does have the uh, health questionnaire. Example of exclusions, again, this is pretty common. You guys have seen these before. Pre-existing conditions, dental procedures, elective or cosmetic surgeries, prescription medications, uh, pregnancy, workers' comp, hazardous activities, mental disability, and chemical abuse. Now, if you want a more detailed list, guys, please go to the brochure as the brochure would be able to provide all of that information. So quick overview, kind of what we've already gone through. So this uh, hospital expense protection plan is a set uh, cash benefit that pays on top of other coverages. Multiple plan designs, we have five of them no network restrictions, life association memberships. So why National General? Well, we've been around since 1969. AM best, A minus rating. So we are uh, financially solvent. We are strong. Uh, specialist in short-term uh, medical fixed benefits, medical as well as the supplement insurance world. And then uh, we are listed on the NASDAQ. So now some of the questions that have come up, um, these enrollments are any dates between the 1st and the 31st. If I write the application, I can make it effective tomorrow if needed. And then the initial payment is drawn at the time of application. Reoccurring payments are five days before the monthly anniversary to start that date, for the start date. Now, monthly anniversary, yes, it's been a question. So if I took out the policy on the 22nd of the month, then that is my uh, monthly anniversary. So the 22nd of every month is when that reoccurring payment will then start. Forms of payment, we have uh, your checking, savings, Visa, MasterCard, or Discover. So let's talk about the member portal. So member portal, show that claim form. If you guys have additional questions, go to mynatgen.com. Your members are going to go there and I always, advise people to uh, save it in their bookmarks. So you can view your policy documents, check current and past payments, as well as the current payment method. 
post sales member services. So the triple eight seven eighty one zero five eight five National General Accident Health mailing address, the PO Box ten seventy Winston Salem. Now please note on the bottom the triple eight three four four three two three two. That is a dedicated fax line. I've had quite a few um, agents reaching out to me asking why they couldn't get customer service and they give me that number. So please note that is a dedicated fax line. Now, if your member needs to cancel for whatever reason, please advise 10 days prior to the monthly anniversary. So that 22nd of the month where I took out that policy and the payment was processed, I need to have this submitted no later than the 12th. And again, 10 days prior to that monthly anniversary to stop the premium withdrawal. If you have questions, email us at training at ahcpsales.com and myself and a couple other persons are manning that box and we will get to them as soon as possible. Thank you guys, have a great day and thank you for spending some of your day with me.